Hello learners, I'm teacher Sharon. This is form 1 mathematics. I'm taking you through topic 3 which is divisibility tests and we are going to look at divisibility tests for 9 and 11. Welcome. By the end of the lesson you should be able to determine if a number is divisible by 9 and also to determine if a number is divisible by 11. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. And number 2, a number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits in the odd positions and the sum of the digits in the even positions is 0, 11 or even a multiple of 11. So if we have a number, let's say A, B, C, D, E. This is a five digit number. So one is on the first position, B, the second position, C is on the third position, we have D on the fourth position and lastly E which is on the fifth position. So we check the positions if they are old we add those digits so we have A on the odd position plus C which is on the third and three is odd number so it is on odd position so we add C plus E which is on fifth and five is odd number so we also add E. And this will give us the sum of the digits which are in the odd position. So if we get this sum, call it y, and we also add the digits which are in the even position like second and fourth, because two and four are even numbers, so we add b plus d, we get a sum of x. So if we get the difference between these two sums, that is y minus x, and we get either 0, 11, or even a number which is divisible by 11, then it means that this number a, b, c, d, e is divisible by 11. Let us look at the examples which have been given. We have the first one we are told to test if the following numbers are divisible by 9, 11 or even both. But A, we have 970,299, quite a big number. So we check if it is divisible by 9 by adding all the digits, getting the sum of the digits because we have been told a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. So let's get the sum of the digits. We have 9 plus 7 plus 0 plus 2 plus 9 plus 9. So this is 18, this is 2, and this is 16. So if we add this, we have 18 plus 18, which is 36. We check if 36 is divisible by 9. So we can even add 3 plus 6, and the sum of the digits is 9. So 9 is divisible by 9, meaning that all this number is divisible by 9. 970, 299 is divisible by 9. We can also test if it is divisible by 11. We have to check the numbers which are on the odd position and we add them. So we have 9 which is on the first position. We have 7 which is on the second position. We have 0 on the third position. We have 2 on the fourth position, 9 is on the fifth position, 
and another 9 on the 6th position. So let's add the digits which are on the odd positions. We have 9 plus 3 is odd number, so plus 0. Then we go to the 5th one, which is 9. So this one gives us 18. We also get the sum of the digits which are on the even positions. So we have 7 which is on the second position, plus 2 on the fourth position, and plus 9, which is on the sixth position. So if we add this, we'll get 18. And taking the difference between the first sum and the second sum, we get a 0. That is 18 minus 18 is a 0. And therefore, that number is divisible by 11. We have part B, where we have... 531,441. So we have 531441. Let's check if it is divisible by 9. We start with 9. And we are supposed to add the sum of all these digits. Then we will subtract or we will divide by 9 to see if it is divisible by 9. So we have 5, 3, plus 1, plus 4, plus 4, plus 1. This gives us 9, this gives us 9. So 9 plus 9 is 18, and 18 is divisible by 9. Therefore, this number is divisible by 9. We also test for 11. So we'll add the first number to the second digit. Yeah, the first digit to the second to the third digit, then to the fifth digit, then we'll subtract the second added to the fourth added to the sixth. So we have the first which is five plus one plus 4. This gives us 10. Then we have 3 plus 4 plus 1 which gives us 8. So if we get the difference between these sums, we have a 2. So it is not 0, it is not 11, and it is also not a multiple of 11, meaning that this number is not divisible by 11. Lastly, we have 161,051. So we have 161051. Let's start by testing for divisibility of 9. By adding all the digits, we have 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 0 plus 5 plus 1. So this gives us 8, this gives us 6, and this, if we add 8 plus 6, we get 14. 14 is not divisible by 9, meaning that this number is not divisible by 9. We check if it is divisible by the number 11, so we add the digits in the odd positions minus the, the digits in the even positions. So we have the digits in the odd positions, 1 plus 1, then plus 5. Then the even position we have 6, 0, and 1. So let's add the ones which are in the odd position. That is 1 plus 1 plus 5. 5, which gives us 7. Then we add the ones which are in the even positions. That is 6 plus 0 plus 1, which is 7. If we get the difference between the first sum and the second sum, we'll get a 0. That is 7 minus 7 is a 0. And therefore, this number is divisible by 11. Thank you for listening. This is the end of this lesson.